Hello everybody, this is Stacy with Stacy's DP Crafts and More, back with another video. Today we're doing an unboxing. As you can see, it is a Diamond Art Club unboxing. Um, this is one of my Black Friday purchases. I got three all together. Um, this one is a round diamond. It is a Hannah Lynn T. Rose Fairy. It is 42 by 60 centimeters approximately. I'm not going to put the little decimal point in there. So about 42 by 60 centimeters. So not a huge kit. Um, 17 by 24 inches. Um, quick tour of the box. There's a scan code on the side for 10% off. On the back there are um, general instructions and the contents of the kit. Um, and of course the pink branding which makes it a round diamond kit. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. I haven't even taken it out of the plastic yet. Let's get that part done. Let's get it out of the box. I can get the box open. There we go. It's our tool kit. Kit. And no little sticker. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so there's our little sticker. Um, this can be used in your log book. Some people use them on the side of the box when they're storing their kit so they can see um, what kit it is. They put it either on the end or the side or whatever. So there's multiple uses for that sticker. Um, there's our tool kit. Let's get that open. Let's push that pull. Get rid of the scissors for a minute. Now, the toolkit has everything you need to complete the diamond painting. Um, there are a couple little extras in there that have changed from kit to kit. Um, you get a pin and squishy, which I'm not going to, well, I may try to put it on there. Usually you have to force it on, but don't worry, it will go on there like that so that it's like a comfort grip so that when you're diamond painting, it's just makes it a little bit more comfortable with these using these little pins. I don't use these little pins. I use my other pins, but they're a pain to kind of work with, but there you go. It works. Um, two heart-shaped plates of wax in a heart-shaped container. Make sure you remove the thin little plastic film on top of it before you decide to load your pin. I'll show that to you if I can get it off. There we go. You see that? You get two multi-placers if you decide to try your hand at um, placing more than one diamond at a time. There's a four placer and a seven placer. These are the thin placers, which I prefer. You get a tray with a stopper. Keep your diamonds from going all over the place when you shake them. A roll of washi tape is one of your extras. The, the print will vary. Use this on the outside edge of your canvas to um, cover up where the glue comes a little bit out of the glue, uh, out of the drill field a little bit, or to section off your canvas. I use mine to section off my canvas. Um, there's several ways of doing that and several videos on YouTube on how to do that. Um, there's a cover minder, which this one happens to be a shamrock. There are two magnets on the back. You take one magnet, you put it underneath your canvas, you pull back your plastic, put the top on top, this piece on top, and it holds your plastic back for you when you're diamond painting. Um, so you don't have to, I'm gonna put that with my little cover minder collection up here. Put everything back in the bag. Oh, did I say the bag of baggies for extra diamonds? Or to, to kit up in? This is a round kit, so it does not come with tweezers. Let's get into the kit itself. Let's 
unroll that. Nice soft back canvas. Very nice canvas. Diamond Art Club canvases are top notch. They have a self flattening feature. Um, if you leave them, leave them lay out, they will flatten on their own. Look at that, guys. Isn't she gorgeous? First of all, you get a thank you card, a little thank you note from the founder, um, and instructions, the kit contents. Um, this will take you to a video. This code will take you to a video with instructions, and this code will take you um, to the VIP Facebook group. Once you've made your first purchase, you can join the VIP group. Your sticker sheet with a larger image of the, the painting, the original artwork, and your individually pre-cut stickers um, with all of the DMC codes and the symbols that they go to. You can use this on your containers or your baggies to kit up um, so you know what symbol goes with what color. All right, guys, I'm going to turn her sideways. We'll go through the diamonds in a minute. I'm going to turn her sideways. Look at her, guys. I'm, my a recording arm doesn't go up really high, so I'll move the canvas around so that you can see her. Um, but here we are at the top, and you see she's got a little teacup hat on. Um, what drew me to her was these green eyes. So pretty. Um, there are 40 colors. See, there's one, two, three, four ABs. Aurora Borealis diamonds. We'll look at those when we get into the into the diamonds. Just a quick look. So there's a legend on this side, upper left, and on the lower right. Just a quick tour. There is scalloped and finished edges to prevent fraying. Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. That's their branding. Bottom left has the thumbnail, the name of the kit, the size, and who it was licensed by. All the social media information is in the middle. And the warranty, lifetime warranty is on the bottom right. If you have an issue with the canvas, you run out of diamonds, you drop your diamonds, whatever the case may be, um, this is where you contact to um, get replacements or whatever. They take really good care of you. So there's that. Let's take a look at the diamonds. Lots of 310 is going to be in this kit, I can tell. 435. 600, some pink, some beiges, there's 3371, that one is not black guys, but there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bags of black. Very little of that 839. It's like a light brown. Some more pink and green. There's our first AB. If you look closely, you can see that that extra coating on the top that makes them shine a little bit brighter. It also helps pick up the diamonds around it and shine a little bit brighter. 106. There's our second AB. It's like a light, really light tannish. Color, cream color, and peach, and more green. There's our third AB. Is that green? Very pretty. And our fourth AB is this light pink. More greens and browns, ending with a pink. All right. Now, if we can get it all back together, that is the question. That is the question of the day.
So I'm really excited about her. Um, I think she'll be quick, depending on how much I work on her when I, whenever I decide to. Um, seeing that it's not very big and it is a round, and rounds tend to go faster. But one more time sideways. You can see all that pretty hair and the pretty roses at the bottom. All that white in the roses you can tell is an AB. That is the white AB. Um, that light pink AB is all through her hair. It'll be really pretty. The green AB is in this teacup. There's no ABs in her eyes, unfortunately. I would have liked to have seen that green AB in her eyes, but there, it's, it's not there. It's mostly in this teacup up here. Not in here, in here. So, um, there's some, a, that green AB in these leaves. All right, everybody. So that's that. Um, I hope you like this one. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, and everybody have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.